In today's project spotlight, I'm going to be talking about my gradient nine patch quilt. What I made, how I made it, and what I learned. Welcome to Eva Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So in today's project spotlight, I'm going to be talking about my gradient nine patch quilt. So this was a quilt that I made back in 2022 when I was an Island Boutique ambassador. So the way that worked is the Island Boutique fabric company sent me a bunch of fabric and then each month I had to make a project with a specific fabric. And so for this month, they sent a fat quarter bundle in a gradient of teal colors. So it went all the way from this kind of blue color all through lighter colors and then it ended up with this dark green color and so I love the colors in this collection and so I wanted to find a project that would showcase the fabric and the color so I didn't want to complicate it with complicated piecing and over the top quilting I just wanted the fabric and the color to be the star of the show and so I decided to go with simple nine patch blocks. And this is a really um, common traditional block that's easy to do. And I went with a six inch block so that there would be a lot of them in this project. So because there was 20 different fabrics in this gradient, I had to do a lot of labeling to keep everything straight. And also because some of the fabrics are pretty close together. They're not exactly the same in value, uh, but they were close enough together. I had to label everything to keep it all straight. So every fabric was labeled. And then I made seven nine patch blocks from each different fabric. So I had 140 blocks all together and they were each kept separately based on which fabric they were made out of one through 20. And then I laid them out uh, so that the gradient went from corner to corner. And so I made a diagram. I had one here and then these were color fabric two and then these were back fabric one and then two until I ran out and then I moved on to three, four, etc. cetera. Um, and so I had a diagram laid out. I laid them all out. And once I laid them out on my floor, I liked the arrangement then I labeled each block specifically 1A, 1B, 2, uh, 1C, etc., so that I knew its position. And that way, as I was moving them to join them, I could keep track of which blocks were going together. And also, if my cat happened to run across where the blocks were and got them mixed up, I could easily put them back into location. So for labeling the blocks, I just use a little piece of painter's tape and I wrote right on it, 1A, 2A, etc. cetera. Um, and so um, the, this simple design, it really showcases the fabric. So we can see here how the full quilt looks when you see the whole thing. And I think it does a good job of showing off the gradients of the fabrics and how beautiful that fabric is. I use this um, kind of neutral floral for the background and that it gives it a bit of uh, interest without distracting from it. And then because I had fabric left, I wanted to do something else interesting on the back of the quilt. So the back of the quilt, I just used squares, 10 inch squares that were left over. And I did those in a similar gradient style. So it went from corner to corner showing the colors. And so the back is really interesting as well. Uh, here you can see the back of the quilt, how all the colors are arranged for that. Now to finish the quilt, I didn't want to have a lot of quilting that would distract. So I decided to use a polyester batting, which I don't normally use, but I use that and I decided to tie the quilt. So tying is a technique where instead of stitching through the layers, you just attach it in specific spots. 
And often tying is done with little pieces of yarn or thread and you actually tie a knot, which is where the name comes from. But I decided to use a little star stitch on my sewing machine. So I arranged the layers together and then I would just put it in my sewing machine to the position, push a button and it would stitch one little decorative star stitch. And then I would move on to the next line patch and do another star in the middle. So that was a fun way to tie the quilt with machine stitching. And so because it's a poly batting, it is a little bit fluffier and softer. So this quilt um, is not stiff at all, like some quilts that have a lot of um, dense machine quilting. This is really soft and squishy. And so that is a really nice uh, finish to it. So what I learned in this project is that sometimes it's fun to do a simple project with beautiful colors. I love how this one turned out, even though it is a really simple to do project. Quilters love fabric, so let the fabric be the star of the show and let it stand alone. Also, I learned that it is possible to tie a quilt by machine. That was something I'd never tried before. And I really like how it turned out. So if you want to see more details about how I made this quilt, including the layout diagram that I used, you can click the link below and go to the post that has um, lots of pictures and more information. If you want to see how to make a nine patch block in any size, I do have a tutorial that shows how to make a nine patch block in different ways. And for more quilting inspiration and ideas, check out my website, evadistudio.com.